Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin with Let Me Tech You, and today we're going to be talking about how to configure an Ether Channel load balancing um, configuration using some Cisco switches here. Now, um, with uh, uh, with Ether Channel, basically what this does is you might be you know looking to add some additional bandwidth to your links, um, you know redundancy on your links in case one goes down. So this is probably utilized in many you know enterprise networks and. Um, if you're watching this, we're basically going to go through configuring and setting this up. So uh, with this, this is basically just going to be two. Uh, we're going to be using this configuration here. And you can follow along with this um, um, blog as well. I mean, with this lab as well. On our blog, letmetechu.com, there is some, uh, you can just basically go to this uh, article and kind of follow along with this configuration. Uh, your ports and stuff may be the same, but the... Uh, settings and everything should go together so basically what i'm going to do is go into uh, one of our switches here and what we're ha what we're working with is a switch with four um, gigabit ethernet links configured um, connected to our other switch now there's two different protocols we have lacp and pagp and basically these uh help maintain and distribute traffic across the ether channel bundle now PAGP is Cisco proprietary and LACP is an open standard. So we'll be uh, using that configuration. Um, we'll also, uh, how that's going to determine is based off the commands you input into the switch. So we're going to go ahead and just set some basic uh, settings up here on the switch here. So we're going to go, um, you know, go into, so we, we got our host name set up. I'm going to go into the switch and let's just go ahead and say uh, we're going to go spin tree mode rapid actually you can if you want to see so we're going to go per vlan rapid spin tree mode and then everything else uh, basically you can add some other stuff like if you want to do line console configuration those things are in the uh, blog but we're, we're going to skip past that part and we're just going to get into uh, configuring the trunks so we're going to need to uh, set these as trunks. I'm um, going across that way that it can pass traffic if there's multiple VLANs and stuff like that. So we're going to go interface range. And we're going to use the range because all the, conf the configuration on all the links are going to be the same. So we're going to go 0 slash 0 and then 3. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q the switch port mode trunk. And that should be it for that. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. And then same thing on our other switch here. So let's just go in here. Come up T. And then interface. Spanning tree mode. And then interface gigabit zero slash zero. Two, three. Whoop. Interface range. And then switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. You need to do the encapsulation dot one Q because if it's set to auto, it won't let you do the switch port mode trunk um, here. And then we can verify this by going show interface trunk. So we have our four ports and trunking uh, mode. Uh, we have you know all the VLANs allowed on it. We could skinny that down, but for now we don't have to worry really worry about that. So now that we got that set up, basically now what we're going to get into is actually tuning and configuring LACP. So LACP can uh, contain a bundle of up to sixteen allocated ports. Now eight of those are going to be passing traffic. If you were to have up to eight, the remaining eight would be on standby. So the total number of ports in the LACP bundle, once it surpasses the eight, the switches will negotiate a master-slave relationship. So the designated master will decide which members are active and which links are standby. So what we're going to do is let's create a bundle using a minimum of two um, and a max of three links. And then it'll just, we'll decide which is the uh, master switch. So then, so with, to do that, we'll need to minimize the timeout period from 30 seconds to one seconds, and then we'll also enable LACP, LACP fast packets. 
So let's go ahead and get into this. So now how the uh, master switch is configured. So each, uh, each connected LACP switch has a system ID value. And it's just a combination of basically the system priority, which is the default 32768 in the base MAC address. And how we find that out is we do a show LACP syst ID. So you can see that this is 32768 500000B8000. We go over to this switch. We do the same thing. Show LACP sys ID. 32768 500 is 0A. So you see that's A, that's B. So based off these image that we can see that uh, the switch with the uh, lowest is going to be the highest priority. So what we want to do is in a typical um, network, that switch may not be the one that you want to be the master. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to pick which one we want it to be. So what we're going to do is need to basically set the priority. So we're going to do that on switch one here. So we're just going to go into configuration mode. And basically to do that, it's just LACP system priority one. That's it. I'm just going to save that. All right. Now, by default, the interfaces are selected. Um, to be included in the active bundle based off the interface ID. So for a given configuration, the lower number interfaces are added to the bundle until the bundle basically reaches its max size. So what we're gonna do is issue the shutdown command on the interface connecting between D1 and D2. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, configure our uh, um, channel groups. So what we're gonna do is go into our interface configuration mode again interface range gigabit zero slash zero and then three and let's do a shutdown and then we'll do that on this switch here as well interface range gigabit zero slash zero slash three and then it's going to do a shutdown all right, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the channel group. Channel group 12 mode active. Now the active is what determines the uh, particular mode. So if I go and show you here, we can see active for LACP, auto, and desirable for PAGP and then passive. So we're gonna go ahead and do active. We would just wanna enable it unconditionally. So we have that set now, and then basically what we're gonna do is start issuing commands on both switches to uh, configure the port channel interface with a minimum bundle size of two interfaces and a max of three interfaces. So what we're gonna do here is do a Exit, and we're going to interface port channel 12. And then port channel minimum links. Let's see here what we got. Oh, so, oh, yeah, so we got to go into that. Mm, let's see, maybe we got some different commands on this switch. So I'm using a different switch here than what we had originally in the uh, log, blog there. So let me see, so interface, port channel. And let me, uh, you know what, hold on one second. So interface range zero, three, no shut. Interface port channel 12, and then the port channel. Yeah, so it looks like 
me look at see if we can get into LACP. Huh, it lets me do the max bundle. For some reason, it's not letting me show the minimum links configuration. So let me see, maybe it's just min. Could be a different command for the switch version I have. So if I do a do show version, I'm on 15.2. So let's see, LACP, uh, minimum links. And let's look and see if we can find how to, maybe we got a different, so set now this, oh, so let's go Cisco. We're going to look and see if we can find a minimum links command. Min minimum links. So yeah, we want to set oh so port channel min links, huh? So I don't have that option in the in line, which I thought was weird. So port channel min links. Yeah, unrecognized command. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually skip past that part. But basically, if I go to the um, configuration here, you'll see where I had that at um, right here. So port channel min links to LACP max bundle three. But what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and um, configure our load balancing. But let's go ahead and uh, set this up on our other side here. So interface, um, oh yes, yeah, so we're going to go channel group and then 12 mode active on this side. And then if I do a show port channel, or no, show ether channel, ether Ether channel 12. Now let's do a summary. Okay, so you see it has the D, so it says it's down, but that's because we have the interfaces down. So let's bring those up. Interface range, gigabit zero slash zero, two, three, no shut. Those are up, line protocols are up. And if I do a show either channel summary, now we have those passed. One's in a W, so it's waiting to be aggregated. And now that one's up. So now if I show show interface port channel 12, you can see I have 40. 40 gigs of bandwidth here. Now if I do a show, show interface gigabit zero slash four, show interface gigabit zero Oh yeah, this is acting, uh, some of these commands are acting really weird. So let me just do a show interfaces. So if you can see here, it's actually, so for one link, it's one gig. So now that we have four all together, we get four gigs of bandwidth across that link. So basically now, now we can't, obviously in this lab, it's not allowing me to do the uh, um, min or max bundle. But that's okay. So what we're going to do is now we're going to do some uh, load balancing. So the Ether channel load balancing method is basically used at either in the Ether channel. Do not have to match. But so issue. So what we're going to do is issue the show Ether channel load balance. And you see where it says so it's source destination IP. 
Now this can be changed to something else. I'm using the port channel load balance in that configuration mode. So what we'll do is go into config T and then we'll do let's see here. So port channel load balance. And what we're going to do is do source Mac. Now, if we want to look, so Ether Channel, to give you just a better idea, so Ether Channel, Load Balance, Source Mac, just seen it in there. So the Source Mac, so we can use, let's get a better explanation. So some of these, uh, I haven't really, so the default Load Balance option is Source Mac or Source Mac Address which means that the traffic from one MAC address will be forwarded using the same physical interface. So in our example below, you'll see that you got two routers to PC, Switch 2 has got the default configuration of source MAC, which is fine because there are two PCs. So PC1's traffic will be sent down, Switch 2's gigabit 00, zero interface, for example, and PC2's will be sent down. Therefore, the on traffic is close to one. Okay, so basically, this is load balancing based off the the, the uh, port that it's going out of. So basically, that's it. That's a, just a simple setup. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, you might get into more tuning stuff depending on the network and what you're u utilizing on those links and things like that. Types of traffic. And so if you, you want to get deeper into that, you can kind of, you know, play around with the, some of the other additional commands and testings and stuff like that. Um, basically, that's it. I mean, if you have any other questions, I know I didn't probably didn't go too deep into, like, some of the intrinsic details on some of this stuff. But that just kind of gets you a little a nice uh, um, configuration setup of, to be able to test some other things out. So if you have any other questions, you know, leave comments down in the, uh, in below. You know, like and subscribe. Um, you know, I'll be putting out more videos on various different um, lab tutorials. And again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.